Hello, hello, hello. And we have week two of our Heart Connection journey. And I'm once again joined by the beautiful Debs. Say hi, Debs. Hello, hi, Debs. Hi, Debs. <laughs> hello. You can say week two. I love that because it's the love symbol as well, isn't it? It is very much. <laughs> symbol of love. I, I've always, and lots of people know this about me, is... Um, when I lived in the UK and I did lots of like you know speeches and presentations and standing on stages I would always end with thank you Wembley because growing up I wanted to be a rock star and do you know what the problem with being a rock star is you need to be able to sing now I know that's a self-limiting belief but I've been told so many times to shut up when I'm like you know dancing in the conservatory and all that sort of stuff but it really you know singing to myself fills my heart but yeah, thank you, Wembley. So let's let's get into a, a space of seriousness, a place of where we want to start week two. So week two, Debs is going to program us, with your permission, to receive the Healy and some self-love. So Debs, what, what's going to happen with the Healy this week? So I'm going to do the same thing as I did last week. At four o'clock every day, I will send out um, Healy frequencies. These will be specifically for self-love, whereas last week was all about coherence. So again, it's going to be interesting to see how you feel. One of the things that um, would be really interesting for you to do differently this week, if you are able to, is to start journaling at 4 p.m. GMT time, if you can, when I'm actually running the frequencies to see if there's anything that changes if there's anything to you maybe maybe not um i'm a bit of an experimenter i do love experiments and finding out what works for people and what doesn't so it, it's entirely up to you it's an invitation only um maybe try it maybe try it one day and not try it the next day you might want to if you're watching this one first go back and do it for week one <laughs> Now that's not a bad idea so we can't go back and say that for week one but never mind we're on week two so all of the journaling prompts and stuff I'm releasing at 5.55 Central European time, a.m. in the morning. And what I really like about what you've just said, Debs, is that people can either journal when the Healy's going at 4 p.m. This is very confusing because you're in the UK. Mm -hmm. But your 4 p.m. is my 5. And I have no idea what time that is around the rest of the world. But if you go and use World Time Buddy, that will tell you. But what you might want to do is, is either journal when Debs is running the programme or if you've already journaled, why don't you bring your journal when the, the machine is going and read what you've written and see how you feel. So do what works for you. So you can journal when the Healy is going. You can journal early in the morning. But if you are there at, at 4 p.m. UK time, bring bring your journal. I think that's a, I think that's an absolutely brilliant idea. So at the end of this week, so self love. I want I want my invitation is is you bring everything into your heart, your inner wisdom. You connect within, and actually you keep all of that love for this week to yourself. Because last week we talked about opening the heart and sending that, that love out. And I think this week, if what we can do is really bring it in here, practice radical self-care, practice doing stuff that, that really makes you feel like, yeah, you know, I love who I am and who I am becoming. And I think that's, I think that's the most powerful thing that we can do this week because this is about our relationship with ourselves and really everything comes from comes from within so if we like you and I have both learned that because we've learned to love ourselves then we can give so much more to the world but often what happens is what do we do most of us spend all of our time people pleasing trying to make sure everyone else is okay you know you might be feeding the kids and my kids are furry but you know, they like demanding treats and walks and they wake me up in the morning and it's like, mummy, mummy, mummy. So, you know, I focus a lot of my love and attention on, on my animals. But most of us, you know, we focus so much on other people. So this week is pure, indulgent, beautiful, wonderful, gorgeous self-love in on ourselves. So 
what would be really interesting is let's see what happens at the end of the week. This is this is an experiment, you know, so it's an experiment for both of us, isn't it, Deb? Because we've you yeah. know, we've never worked before uh, together before. So we're just kind of going. Not in this vein, anyway. <laughs> no, no, no. We've done IT stuff in the past. That's so funny, isn't it? We've done, we've done all that kind of very masculine, left brain, logical <laughs> IT stuff. We, we used to um, work in the field of student records and accounts. Mm. I, I used to love that. I really loved um, all of that. Um, if you think about it, that was our outer world. You know, I mean, we can relate that to what you were saying just now that, you know, most people living in on, on the planet, the Western certainly, and probably in many other places, it's all about the outer world. It's about whatever anybody else is doing and, and what we can do for them. And, but this is about the inner world and this is the inner world of your heart. And the one thing, um, I mean, I've been a practicing therapist on and off for the last, I don't know, 20, 25 years. And it certainly seems to be the core, the core issue for most people. You know, a lot of people don't really understand why they do this or why they do that. And really, when you pair everything back and you take away all of the stories and all of the the faff and and the, the daily stuff, and you take away all of the, yeah, stories is probably the best way, the beliefs and the limit, the limitations that we set upon ourselves or that we learn when we're young. What is, you know, what what is at the center of it? It's our heart. It's the beating path that keeps us going. Yes, there's all these other bits to us as well, but that is it. Mm. And so, yes, it's about getting rid of all the outer world for a moment even, if you can just do it for two minutes every day and just go back into here and into yourself and into your heart and into your inner world. You've got loads of answers in there. Absolutely. I mean, that's why I work on my heart and I'm always connected to it. You know, once I learned that this is the place to come first, everything changed for me. Mm. Like, yeah. you know, we've, we've spent, I know both of us, we've spent our lives not being in a great place. And now things are just so much better. Everything, you know, seems so much brighter and and just more aligned. And I think that's the point of it is when we come and in. coherent. <laughs> and coherent, which is what we did on, on, on week one. So this is week two. Take out of this whatever feeds your heart, whatever connects to your soul, whatever resonates with you. And then let's have a look at, you know, what happens at the end of this second week. One of the things I, I do want to say is, you know, I want to say thank you for Debs for doing this because, you know, you're, you're spending your time putting your energy in. Debs, I, I, I guess that if people want to connect with you, you will work with them in whatever way is the right way. Because I know when we started, just before we started um, running these videos, you said, oh, I'm just going to run something and see what you need. And that's going to be the most important thing is, is that, that when people come to work with you, whatever, because, you know, we all have a preconceived idea about what it is we think that the, 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 the therapist or the facilitator is, is going to do. But actually, intuitively and with that healing device, you're going to be able to tap in with exactly what someone needs. And I know you're doing that, doing that on me right now, so that when we end this, who knows, something's going to come up. And I and, and what I want to say is, if you think you're working with Debs, do, because she will absolutely beautifully, gently guide you through what you need. So I'm, I'm very much looking forward to whatever it is I need in the moment. So Debs, all people have to do is tag you and mm-hmm. say, or private message you, but let you know that they private message you. And then yeah. you can set up a, a consultation with them and stuff like that, yeah? Yeah, we can have a chat and see whether we we connect, whether you connect with me and I connect with you and whether you feel drawn to working further. So, yes, there's um, there's many, many tools in my toolbox. Put there it is. up. <laughs> OK, so this is week two. Have a go. The invitation is open. You only get out what you put in. And I truly, truly hope that you get masses from this week. So from my heart to your heart, thank you very much. And thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye, everyone.